FC3, Tung Tan Adams, Alexandria, Virginia. GMG3, Robert Wallace Backrooms, Ravina, Ohio. EMFA, Dwayne Collier Battle, Rocky Mount, North Carolina. GMG3, Walter Blakey, Easton Rapids, Michigan. GMG3, Peter Edward Bob, Levittown, New York. Seaman Recruit, Ramon Bradshaw, Tampa, Florida. Lieutenant J.G. Philip Buck, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Seaman Apprentice, Ernie Ellis Casey, Mount Airy, North Carolina. GMG2, Peter John, Uniontown, PA. GMG3, Milton Francis Devon Jr., New York. Seaman Apprentice, Leslie Allen Everhart, Cary, North of Carolina. GM2, Gary John Fisk, Honeyida, New York. Seaman Apprentice, Tyrone Dwayne Foley, Bullard, Texas. Seaman Apprentice, Robert James Gideon, Lakewood, Ohio. Seaman Apprentice, Brian Wayne Gendron, Madera, California. Seaman Recruit, John Leonard Goins, Columbus, Ohio. EM3, David L. Hansen, Perkins, South Dakota. GMG1, Ernest Edward Hanez, Bordentown, New Jersey. GMG2, Clayton Michael Hartwig, Cleveland, Ohio. LN1, Michael William Helton, Louisville, Kentucky. Seaman Apprentice, Scott Allen Holt, Fort Myers, Florida. Seaman Recruit, Reginald Johnson, Warrenville Heights, Ohio. Seaman Apprentice, Nathaniel Clifford Jones, Buffalo, New York. Seaman Brian Jones, Kennesaw, Georgia. Seaman Michael Shannon Justice, Matawan, New West Virginia. Seaman Edward Kimball, Fort Stockton, Texas. GMG3, Richard E. Lawrence, Springfield, Ohio. FCFSA, Richard John Lewis, Nashville, Minnesota. Seaman Apprentice, Jose Luis Martinez, Hildago, Texas. BM3, Todd Christopher McMullen. Mannheim, Pennsylvania. LN1, Robert Kenneth Morrison from Jacksonville, Florida. Seaman Otis Levance Moses, Bridgeport, Connecticut. GMG3, Darren Ogden, Shelbyville, Indiana. Seaman Ricky Ronald Pearson, Houston, Minnesota. GMG3, Matthew Ray Price. Burnside, PA, Harold, Earl, Romine, Bradenton, Florida, GMG3, Jeffrey Scott Schlein, Costa Mesa, California, GMG3, Heath Eugene Stillwagon, Connellsville, Pennsylvania, Seaman Recruit, Todd Thomas Taven, Wolcott, New York, GMG3, Jack Ernest Thompson, Greenville, Tennessee, GMG2, Stephen J. Weldon, Yukon, Oklahoma. GMG3, James Darren White, Norwalk, California. Seaman Recruit, Rodney Maurice White from Louisville, Kentucky. BM2, Michael Robert Williams, South Shore, Kentucky. Seaman John Rodney Young, Rock Hill, South Carolina. GMG Senior Chief, Reginald Owens Diegler.
last year is particularly rough because we're all home alone. Or it's and if you're blessed to have a family, then you're blessed. For me, it's just me and the dogs this year. And sometimes it's rough. So if you need to speak, please speak. I would like to read the poem that I read every year that I attend the memorial in honor of my brother, Peter Edward Bob. There was a young man who had a dream of bowling ships and the sea. He was bright and warm and full of life and as eager as could be. A special boy who was loved by all, a friend to those in need, a son to be so proud of, a brother who could lead. And then one day without a word, without a sign or clue, his life was taken from us. His dream was over too. He touched us all. We won't forget. We'll never be the same. His smile will live forever. And Peter is his name. God bless the Iowa 47 and their shipmates. I'm looking forward to being with my brothers and sisters next year. All of you be safe and be well. Who'd like to go next? Mark, Mark, why don't you say something? Ah, uh, hmm. I just want to give a little friendly reminder that we're not going to be joining at the Golden Crow this year. <laughs> Disappointed. Oh, it, 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 it's it, this, this unpresented shit sucks, honestly. I'd much rather be with you all in person, but, you know, for the fucking unforeseen circumstances that we're all in, we just got to keep the social distancing, and it sucks. I miss you all very much. I love you all. Love you too, Mark. I know Mr. Bob would like to say something. Uh, I just, just let you all know that today is St. Thomas Church is supposed to be dedicated to Peter and the Iowa 47. But they stopped the Golden Church and everything else there. It's still there on paper. But he was remembered today at St. Bernard's Church in Leavenworth. He and the 47. Yeah, morning, everyone. Um, yeah, I, it's great to see everybody on online uh, today, but uh, I'd much rather be with you all down there. But obviously, we can't be. Um, so take care, everyone. Be safe, all right? And uh, we'll get through this thing. God bless you, yourselves. This is uh, Jeff Olander logging in. I'm not able to get the uh, video to work, but I just want to thank John and all you guys for putting this together, especially uh, this time of year uh, or this year with the extraordinary circumstances. Uh, it means a lot to all of us. And, and, uh, it's, it's great to uh, be able to share this experience with you this morning. Thanks. Yeah, I just wanted to share some thoughts that I had uh, on this. You know, it's 31 years ago that we shared in a, in a major tragedy. Uh, all, all the families lost their loved ones and we lost our shipmates. It's affected our lives ever since that day. And we share the grief with the families, but it's really a different loss for the shipmates. And I wanted to kind of bring that to, to heart. You see, these were men and women who ate and slept within 600 feet of each of us. We wore the same clothes. We slept in the same kind of beds. We ate the same greasy pork chops and drank the same bug juice. A lot of times we sat across from each other on those little small tables and shared a little bit of ourselves. We worked closely with each other and it was almost impossible to hold a grudge or be angry, you know, very long because, you know, we were together every day. We laughed at the same jokes. We played the same jokes on each other. And when we had time off, we spent it together. Over time, this becomes more than just a working relationship. They become a part of, they became a part of each of us. And we became a part of them. So when our shipmates left us on that fateful day, a little bit of us went with them. That's why today, 31 years later, we can still see their faces in our minds. 
it's it's great to come together on a day like this even though yeah it's via the internet still we remember them they're our shipmates they always will be we took part in something that was a whole lot bigger than ourselves and we took pride in what we what it stood for and quite frankly we're very proud of them although a part of us left with them a part of them still lives within each of us that's why we honor them even after 31 years. They'll never leave us because really they are us. Each of us has our own thoughts about our shipmates. Uh, personally, I like to think that they are still aboard the ship watching over, over all these years. I fancy that they've made up a watch bill and they're keeping the crew uh, a little busy with the tours to keep them in line. And I figure they're enjoying themselves, especially if they put a scare to some kid that's getting into mischief aboard the ship. Why do I think this? Because that's probably what we would do. And they are us. Every time I go back to the ship, I always take the time to go back to Turret 2 and spend some quiet time. I say hello. I say a little prayer. And I always feel better afterwards. And I hope that each of y'all will be able to do the same kind of thing. Go back there and call out their name. I bet they'd get a kick out of seeing you. And if you listen quietly, you may hear them say hello. Because these guys were our shipmates. We missed them because they were us. I appreciate you letting me say a few words. I'm very well said. Captain Sequest, are you there? I'm here and I want to say how much I appreciate everyone gathering together. As we were listening to the John read the names from Adams to Ziegler, I, every, I'm sure you each had the same feeling that uh, you hear each name and you think of that life, how that person ended up aboard the ship and in the turret that day. Um, you know, what wonderful people they were and the lives, the potential that was taken away. Uh, I really appreciate the fact that we continue to get together and celebrate their lives. And I also appreciate how much this has uh, impacted each of you and hundreds of our shipmates and how much just continuing to live uh, and move ahead with life uh, that's taken a lot of work. So I really appreciate all of you, and I certainly am grateful that I was part of that wonderful Iowa crew. So thank you. And I certainly thank Michelle, Mark, and John uh, for once again in getting us together. And I'm hoping that, Lonnie, maybe you'll have a prayer for us before we finish? Yes, sir. Anyone else want to say anything before we hand it off to Lonnie? Hey, it's Eric Worthen from Third Division. I just want to say thank you for uh, uh, to all of you for putting it together. This was great. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't bring myself to come to a, a memorial until the 25th memorial, uh, and that was due to my wife saying we're going this year. So, uh, and I've tried to make everyone since then, and um, this is just awesome. Um, the one thing that I ask that ask my friends um, uh, out there is whether or not it's one of one of my 47 shipmates or um, uh, an uncle of theirs that have passed away, uh, say their names. Just say their names. They'll always be remembered. Thank you, guys. What I'd like to do uh, before I say a prayer, I'd like to sing the, the Navy hymn. And then I'll close this in prayer. Eternal Father, strong to save, whose arm hath bound the restless wave, who bids the mighty ocean deep its own appointed limits keep. Oh, hear us when we cry to thee for those in peril on the sea. 
in the 23rd Psalm, uh, David says that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we'll fear no evil. And what I like about that is just that little word through, uh, because it doesn't mean we have to hang out when we're going through hard times. And usually in the valleys is where there's growth. So my prayer uh, is on this day, even though it's not the same, that there's some sort of growth in each of us, whether it's individually or growing together as families in times like this where uh, we're spending more time together um, or it's just as friends that there's growth. So on that, if you would, we'll go ahead and pray. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank you for uh, technology that was created and enabled us to, to meet uh, even from uh, different states. And Lord, I pray that um, as we just kind of disconnect virtually, that we do not disconnect relationship-wise, that we reach out to those that maybe we didn't hear from today, uh, just to check on them, to see how they were doing. And, and Lord, we pray that as we do go our separate ways, that your peace that surpasses all understanding will go with us uh, in the middle of chaos or turmoil, we feel peace and we won't understand why we'll realize it is that peace that surpasses all our understanding. We remember the families of those that were left behind. We ask that you comfort them on this day and throughout the rest of the year. Pray that you keep our families and friends and shipmates safe in this time of uh, virus and turmoil. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Thanks, Lonnie. That concludes our ceremony for today and our gathering. God bless each one of you. Thank you. Jesus.